are what decides what people listen to. Like the old days, radio kind of decided what people listen to, and now streaming company algorithms decide. That's what I believe. I think that's what a lot of people believe. And when Lucy and Grange put this statement out here, oh, please believe it, that the fans will always choose what they listen to. Yeah, I don't know so much about that, bro. Universal Music has put out a response. Hmm. So here's the thing, Drake lawyers have to win that lawsuit, in my opinion, in order to be successful. They have to win it for big money because look at the PR. This is, it looks like an abject PR disaster on a level I've never seen before. Look at the PR, look at the, com look at the response across Twitter. If you don't win this lawsuit for bees, multi, like 100 M's, I don't see how you will ever win <laughs> the decision to, that you just made. Wow, look at this PR debacle. And so you're the guy who went out there and greenlit this. You have to bring it home with the biggest returns. So here's the thing, Drake lawyers. I agree. I agree. Um, here's the thing, though. I think this is an uphill battle for Drake to win because bro, the only way he wins this is if these companies give him the information that is snitching on themselves. I'm pretty sure this isn't their first rodeo. They have, they have, th th these companies know about the FCC. Like, I mean, <laughs> Like, like this, it, it kind of becomes a little bit close to home. That's why I'm, I'm, you know, it's a little bit close to home. So I don't want to say too much because <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but it, it, it's a reason why these companies have a way to designate certain shit. Oh, I wasn't doing. Oh, oh, I was, I was paying for a consultant. That that wasn't. That's not payola. That's a consultant. If a company gives academics a hundred thousand dollars. To tell them what's popping or what's not, that's technically the consultation that I'm doing for, let's say, I don't know, let's say for six months or album rollout period. Say that's the consultation, but, you know, it, it kind of also inherently includes me playing that person's song a lot because now I'm tuning into their music a lot more. And I genuinely, because I'm also looking into their life, I'm posting about their life a lot more and. It's uh, 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 did they pay to do some or did they pay me to consult by but the very nature of the consultation that came with a hundred thousand dollars I'm now kind of like you know really in tune with what's going on with them and so it's it's gonna be really hard to 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 um to prove but but, but secondarily it's, it's a secondary here's the thing Universal probably don't have the, the, the data for it you're gonna have to go get Kendrick so this is why this is why I kind of agree with the PR nightmare because. Yes, I think anybody who's getting at Drake today saying that Drake is, you know, suing Kendrick, you're flagrantly wrong. He's not. But I don't think this lawsuit goes anywhere without you suing Kendrick. And that becomes the problem. Right. So you're going to either have to rip that bandaid off by saying, yeah, I am suing that fuck nigga. And even then. Bro, l l let me tell you how companies like. Kendrick's like PG Lang and other companies move like bros under the table they're greasing you up Universal's gonna cut POs yo you work with these other th these other companies yo bro I'm gonna just send you some Bitcoin yo bro like yo uh, yo 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 you in New York when I get there I'm gonna just give you cash <laughs> like yo <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> bruh so again and again it, 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 that might be illegal technically with FCC especially with, with like airwaves and shit like that but it's kind of unregulated bro like you're not gonna catch these niggas doing that you're not gonna catch these niggas for bots like you gotta be a stupid motherfucker to get caught for bots you gotta, I'm being honest with you like that's what I'm saying yo I think I think 80% of artists are botting you are you gotta be a stupid motherfucker to, yo listen I and, I and I talked to my guy from Spotify shout out to my man Carl like, he actually, you know, this is not a space thing for Spotify or nothing like that, but that's just his, his experience. He's like, yo, we, we we do a really good job to make sure all streams are real. 
like our team is pretty good doing shit like that. Bruv. Of course you're not gonna catch the bots. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> like th this whole industry that's about manipulating that. Of, like of course that you're not gonna catch everything, right? You of course y'all think y'all do, but it, it's probably impossible for y'all to do. Same with Apple, right? It is what it is. Somebody told me to play this duppies. Video. I thought this nigga died. Play video. I'm no dog in this fight. I like Kendrick's music. I like Drake's music. Cap! Got a, yo, I hate no niggas saying that you got a dog in a fight, man. You niggas was halfway to the poverty line. Unemployment. You and Mealy Maul, that detergent stealing bandit. You niggas is relevant. I killed you niggas two years ago. Because Drake opened that nigga DM and told him like two things. That's why people start looking back at y'all. So y'all do have a horse in the fight. And, y like, just keep it a bean. You can be, be honest about that. All right, anyway. I also think both of them have used bots via UMG, whether they knew it or not. What's That's also, see, this is one of them situations where even a dumbass makes a, a good point. Yeah, that's another thing, too. So, I, but, but here's the thing. I don't think UMG's doing the bots. UMG contracts a lot of things. You know, these days, these labels contracts everything out, Right? Um, so directly, they probably have certain ways to inflate, but we're not going to get to the silly inflations until you get to like these really ancillary companies that may be UMG, you know, through its subsidiaries, whether it's, um, Interscope or whether it's capital, they work with like this other agency that does PR that works with this other agency that, focuses on meta that works with these other agency that fucking does the bots right and you have like five levels of separation you think the person sitting in like like the people sitting in universal probably has some type of understanding that bro you know when you pay that bread some 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 shit gonna come back just pay the bread hey listen hey i'm just gonna pay you for pr whatever happens happens you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure it's not like, yo, we need we need 400 million streams, fake streams. Nah. At this point, it's like, I mean. It out to me in that paperwork was the accusation that UMG lowered their licensing rate by 30% for Not Like Us. Just a quick, quick. How does Drake know that, though? Like, I think that's where it has to be. It, that that I would think he got that info from the people who were former workers of UMG, right? Remember he said that there were people that were cool with Drake at UMG but got fired? Which then I would instantly think about this. If, unless those guys still have the documents, which even if they do, is it admissible? Because if, if, if remember, this is not criminal. This is civil. If those dudes are on an NDA, which Universal 100 million percent have the any employee who would see those privileged conversations about royalty rates or or licensing rates, of course you're under NDA. If you go snitch to Drake because Drake's your guy and you got fired, bro, is anything you'd say to him or send to him admissible when they're going to be like, nigga, you're under NDA. Get the fuck out of here. So I'm wondering how Drake would prove that. Remember, this is not a criminal case. This will be civil. History lesson, how we even got to the value of what a stream is, was based off Spotify and the three majors negotiating on what that value would be. What makes it even crazier is all three majors have- Oh my God, who's this stupid ass nigga? Stash Lomain, Drake suing is not criminal. Only the federal authorities, like not because they use the word RICO, means it's a criminal situation. This is all civil, okay? Only the state could bring, state or the feds could bring, or the county on behalf of the state could bring, or the municipality on behalf of the county, on behalf of the state, could bring uh, um, criminal charges, brother. Like, what the fuck? I, niggas be charging criminal shit all the time then. You know what I mean? Like, yo, that bitch slapped me. <laughs> You're going to jail. No, you just sue, you get try to get money have actual stock and ownership within Spotify. That would be illegal in any other business in the world, but it's the music industry, so anything can fly. I'll, to the point that I worked at a major when Spotify went public, 
and they emailed all of us as employees and said, you cannot buy stock because that would be insider trading. Now imagine you're an artist and you know that the people that own your music plus the people that distribute your music, which is a whole separate tech company, are in cahoots to define what a dollar means within the music industry. And then you later find out that for one artist in one song, they devalued that dollar. You wouldn't have an issue with it? I have no dog. Now I gotta be honest, okay? Um, Mr. Ginger over here does have a, he does have a great point. Um, and yes, uh, unfortunately I gotta agree with Ruri. Um, but yeah, no, no, he actually has a good point here. Here's the point, uh, here's the thing about his point. Hip hop and how, listen, I run media. You appeal to the stupid person. Nobody's thinking about that. Like what he's saying makes a lot of sense. That's like almost market manipulation. The stupid niggas who are the majority of who consume this this here <laughs> this here culture, they won't get what you're saying. Like they don't even understand what the fuck you're talking about. It's the reason why like artists is so dumb too. You know what I mean? It's just like what? <laughs> like they don't get it. You know what I mean? It's like like if I, if I exp if I explained it to y'all, like y'all would get. It. I know because we talk about hip hop more, but the, the regular consumer who's on Twitter just trolling, they're fucking dumb. You get what I'm saying? Like they're not. I think. I, I, I personally think we have one of the smartest audience in hip-hop. I'm going to tell you why. Because, bro, we don't just read headlines and just, like, an uh, article. We're reading every court document. We're trying to educate each, uh, ourselves. We're trying to, like, really go way deeper in the surface. And then obviously, my name is fucking academics. But to the regular consumer, like, they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, and a good equivalent would be, like, yo, Bitcoin. What's the price of Bitcoin right now, right? 94000 right? Yeah, if everybody right now buying a Bitcoin today was paying $94,000 because the market has claimed, is so the market would be um, Spotify, Apple, and, and, and Amazon, right? Um, they have claimed that's what a Bitcoin costs. And all of a sudden you heard that, I don't know, BlackRock, right, just bought like a bajillion about a Bitcoin for like $8,000 a piece while you got to pay $94,000. You'd be like, what the fuck? This shit rigged. Shit's rigged. It's kind of what, what he's kind of saying in like in like album terms, except nobody like also also here's the thing too. Nobody cares about rich niggas. Like Drake is on a jumbo jet, right? Like yo, did y'all see Drake's story? Yo, it's so hard to feel bad for rappers when they start telling you, like, oh my God. Yo, these labels are cheating. They don't want to give me my 700 million. You're like, I I I like really feel bad that they won't give you your 700 million dollars. It's kind of like, what the fuck? We can't even understand what they're talking about, right? Um, <laughs> look at Drake. This is how Drake goes to sleep on a fucking jumbo jet nigga with a big ass bed nigga. This shit looks better than our rooms. Like, come on. That's it. Nigga's on a fucking cargo jet, my nigga. nigga look, this shit looks like it's a big ass master bedroom, bro. Like, how the fuck do you. Like, when a nigga is basically. The same, yo, I can't get my $700 million that I wanted. Okay, all right, we're going to go kicking and screaming until they give you your $700 million, bro. <laughs> like, fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That's another thing why Kendrick's so good. You know Kendrick's rich as shit. Kendrick's up a couple hundred M's. He still act like he broke his shit. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. He don't show off no car, no nothing. The only thing we found out that Kendrick Kendrick bought was like some $70 million house. We're like, what? He had that, nigga? He had that money? Rich as shit. Drake be just showing off all the wealth. We can't feel bad for him. <laughs> Kendrick buys house. He bought a new house. $40 million house. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's hard to feel bad for these niggas, man. That's why, that's why I think people won't empathize, right? But did Ruri make a good point? I think Ruri made a good point. All right. Was that, was that the gist of it? I think that was the gist of it. All right. Yeah, probably. I like Kendrick's music. I like Drake's music. I also think both of them have used bots via UMG. All right, hold on, hold on. Eric Phillips, thank you for the five. I said, bro, Ack, you got to admit this is soft as shit, man. Bro, begged, he begged to get cooked. He got cooked. Now he's trying to sue. This shit is sad. Well, I don't think he's trying to sue to change what 
you might think is a perception of the battle. That's written in stone. I, I, I think he's realizing that the effects of some of the, the nefarious things in the battle has changed perception about him. So it's not about the battle, right? Like, because if it's just a rap battle, cool. If you want to say Kendrick Rap's better, cool, that's, that's cool. But if someone used a weighted scale or they used a uh, um, weighted die and they basically change the perception of someone, yeah, I could, I could see how... You know, and even then he's not suing Kendrick. He's getting at his label who he believes in a bigger scheme devalued him based on such. He believed that they allowed shit to happen or either positively negotiated for Kendrick's benefit only to it realizing that would devalue Drake and devalue him in the time that they're in a negotiation with him. I could see that. Now, again, that's why, and by the way, we said you, you got to admit that it's soft. I mean, I think if he sued uh, Kendrick directly, I think people would just say soft. I ain't gonna lie, I'd probably be like, yeah, it kind of look, looks a little soft. But that's why I think he didn't sue Kendrick. But here's the thing. For this type of lawsuit, you gotta sue Kendrick. That's the funny part. You gotta sue him, right? Because that's all, when I mean sue him. You got well, you got petition him actually, because he's the only one that's gonna have the details you need, at least about bots, to to, to get at what's the name? G, whether they knew it or not. What stood out to me in that paperwork was the accusation that UMG lowered their licensing rate by thirty percent for not like us. Just a quick, quick history lesson. How we even got to the value of what a stream is was based off Spotify and the three majors negotiating on what that value would be. What makes it even crazier is all three majors have actual stock and ownership within Spotify. That would be illegal in any other business in the world, but it's a music industry, so anything can fly. I'll, to the point that I worked at a major when Spotify went public, and they emailed all of us as employees and said, you cannot buy stock because that would be insider trading. Now imagine you're an artist and you know that the people that own your music plus the people that distribute your music, which is a whole separate tech company, are in cahoots to define what a dollar means within the music industry. And then you later find out that for one artist in one song, they devalued that dollar. You wouldn't have an issue with it? Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Let me see. Glasses Malone is chiming in. Here we go. Still gonna get a chip. You still everybody. get your play. It's but, like... but 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 even that though, like, like he just not hip. He don't get it. He's not hip. Uh, no, mean... he's not hip. <laughs> I mean, he was. He, he, no, he, he wasn't even the whole time. He, he's just, he changed, he's just he incredible. Right. You get what I'm saying? He never been hip. He's incredible. He's an incredible talent. Right. He's like a, he could morph into anybody. He could write his ass off. He can do whatever. He can emulate, like whatever. Like he can, he's like a incredible talent. Okay. But he always, he's never been hip. He never been hip this whole time. Right. He never... That just ain't what he about because You're saying he's never he never was culturally he's never been cool. He kind of was like a a builder just, bear from the culture. He was taking little pieces from here yeah. and here. He just cool, bro. He just dope as fuck. Yeah, okay. he's just like I a bro. He like the homie who got the firehouse and the car and the clothes and niggas need to use it so they keep them. They they let them do well, something. It, do y'all believe that? I mean, what do you think? Somebody's cool or not? That could be subjective. But but. I thought for a good amount of years, especially after that future era, I want to say around 2015 to 2016, definitely in 2020, it felt like Drake seemingly was always around all the things in hip hop that were the most commercialized and the most popular and the most, and what the cool crowd would say. He's kicking it with Thug and them. He's kicking it with Future. He's with all the guys that you would say is that. I 
I don't know. It did, he just That's dope. what it looked like he was to me. He, he the type of nigga that'd make a video tonight wearing gloves. Like, I'm about to bring gloves back. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, even though problem right here, wear Straight yeah. up. Yeah, claim it like Straight that. Up. And you just like, kind of like even today with the lawsuit, you man, that's, everybody that's know marketing. The lawsuit is the you lawsuit did that. You did that to try to counter off the video because yeah. you saw what well, you see. What's getting which ready ain't to gonna do nothing, but, but he you don't know. It's not gonna do nothing, but make it bigger. No, make it that's bigger. show. But but he don't know because the things that we know. This is we had this conversation. This is another time where I was like, man, I ain't gonna talk to AD for about a week or right. two. <laughs> when I'm telling y'all, this is about culture. We all know what's cool. We push our own envelope, right, to, to be unique, but we still stay within the space of cool. Right, like, right. we ain't finna just put on no dress or right, go right. too far. P might wear some easy gloves, but that's within the realm of cool. Like, right. we okay. Mm -hmm. And he still got to break it. He still got to make it happen with the gloves. Right. Drake just don't get cool. He just not cool. He's not even cool when he talk. He When he talk, he just not cool. He's like a regular person talking. Like when he did that shit with his hair and the colorful little things yeah. in it. Yeah. It's I like, should. I get what you were trying to do, but you don't know how to, like, yeah. braids or something. Yeah, yeah. But it's not, it. but it's like, it's like be brazen it, but it's like that didn't come across that way. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you don't get what makes this work. And that's what hip hop is all about. That fact that, AD, you might don't know what the Grand National is, but you know what you know was not cool. 100%. Yeah. You ain't finna show up around this motherfucker with no purse. Right, mm. right, right. I don't care how much everybody culturally saying mm -hmm. you can wear a man purse, you're like, yeah, that's a little too non counting for me. Right. You won't even sacrifice it for your nothing else. You know you be talked about. You know it to get you some press, all the above. But you know where we you, come you, from. You can't go. Like, you cool. can't. Some, but like I said, that's different though. That's some shit where it's like the paint and nails and all that. Like that's some shit I'd never do. But again, that's because you know what's cool. And then there's people like, like with him, he's really just the goods. That nigga just talented and skilled. As fuck. Out of this world. The nigga was skilled from the first day, bro. The nigga is unbelievable. But he also, this is one of the first times in hip-hop that somebody... Nah, I disagree. It's not cool. I don't think it's cool. I, I, I think Kendrick tapped into this, like, cultural wave that culturally, I don't think no one could really compete with Kendrick on that level because people feel like he's someone for the culture. Here's here's why I disagree with that. I think using cool is you projecting whatever you think on Drake rather than really analyzing this particularly because here's the thing. A lot of what hip hop considers cool and even with the culture word too is a bunch of bullshit. Young Thug getting a bunch of people murdered in in in, 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 in um, Atlanta. Is that is that cool? King Von, is that cool? Is is half of the shit that hip hop promotes cool? You get to realize it's it's a way to kind of reject people. You get what I mean? And, and a lot of it's projected, right? Because it's there is no actual real like rubric of what that is. It's the way to just kind of push anybody out they feel is odd or don't go along with whatever. Somebody say no. Nobody would say that Young Thug ain't cool. Nobody would say that niggas like Dirk and King Von ain't cool. Stop it. What I'm saying is that the only part I'll agree with is that it's not a cool thing. It's It's more about it's a, it's I would, I would probably use the word cultural, even though I have some issues with that word at times. But culturally, it's it's yo, we live next to each other from coming from a certain area. We don't call the police on each other, even though we got in a fight. We just don't call the police. Right. Oh, it's like shared understandings. Right. So it's like you don't we get into a rap feud. Even if somebody gets hurt, we don't sue the other person. It's, it's like, yo, we two people from a neighborhood. I beat you up. You don't sue me. Right? And if you go against that, that's kind of like it, it stands out very blatantly. Like, oh, maybe this guy doesn't understand, like, th this, this rubric of codes that's already understood by everyone that belongs to this. Right? Oh, oh, he don't get it. That we don't, we don't just do that. 
That's t- that's that's that type of shit we don't do. So I don't think that's about cool, because I don't think cool or not. If you file a lawsuit, like what the fuck I got to do with it? I think about it just like there's a cultural understanding where almost. Including the police or including law enforcement is always going to be seen as similarly as including or cooperating with law enforcement to get somebody else in trouble. And even though he's not getting at Kendrick, the mere fact that Kendrick is the backdrop or he's the opposite side of what he's complaining about to his label is seen as, oh, no. Oh, that's what you're doing? No, nah, we don't do that. Even if he got a even if he got a, a, a um a reason. Somebody wasn't cool, got into that position. Mm. That never happened before. Part of the blog era, you know, they like, you know, people felt like they had Yeah, I hate that word cool. Because all right, l- l- let's think about let's think about everybody who supposedly held that position. And that's why that word cool is just it, it's it's a subjective word. Okay, cool. I, I would ask Glasses Malone, was Kanye cool? Because Kanye was in that position too. And then up until what point was he not cool? When he, or when he put the MAGA hat, he wasn't cool no more, right? But before then, when he was going against some of these big corporations or he was on TV saying, yo, George Bush don't, don't like black people. I bet he was cool then. It's really subjective. Like these guys, when they say some of these things, it's like, like you can see through it. They're basically saying, Oh, you know, and this is why I think it's really a brilliant move by Kendrick with the not like us thing, because even this use of cool is is kind of using the same sentiment. Whatever is cool is whatever they feel they would do. So, again, when he says cool, I'm substituted for the word cultural. It's like, and when I mean cultural, there's a cultural understanding. Right? Like, like for example, even certain things I do, like, for example, right? Like, culturally, there's an understanding that, you know, you don't be asking either certain questions or you, you you don't ask a man how much money he got in his pocket. I love the pocket wise. That's my favorite thing to do. But culturally, there's almost, it's more than culturally. I think that's just a regular shit, period. But, 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 but that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I think that's what they're accusing Drake of going against. They're saying you are looking worse because... So your actions are sticking out outside the norms of someone who seems to lack the understanding and the cultural codes and norms that everybody else seems to follow. That's somebody that they could relate to in him, but really he not even like them. So question. So if do do. Does he just need to go? Or is there any way for him to get close back to what he was? Me personally, I think if I'm him. If you I have stop. the antics like this, it's gonna it's gonna make it worse and worse. I, I take my 15 and worse years. Worse and worse. Get on. Like I, I already right. I did something, I did something that nobody has ever done ever. Like if I if somebody told me, hey, I'm gonna give you a career, but you only got 15 years, but you gonna run it for 15 and you gotta stop. And then, and then that's the only way I can start. I'm taking that. Because because he was, just, I just think he got to get back that. to the music, bro. Yeah, I'm like, it's it should have been, no, no, no. It should have been the never music from the jump. No, but but that's the thing that he's really great at. But I'm saying it'll never happen again. He has to ghost right from here I, I, on. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not <laughs> saying he he'll have his relevant place to 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 culture as far as where he was. But at the end of the day, where he's outstanding at, that's what he should depend on. He's never been outstanding in nothing else. But I'm saying now. You're saying he should quit music altogether? I think he, he should start ghost music. That's the thing he no. made. Okay, look, right no. now. Right now. Pe- Wait, what is he saying? Nothing else. And he, <laughs> he'll have his relevant place to, to, to culture as far as where he was. But at the end of the day, where he's outstanding at, that's what he should depend on. He's never been outstanding in nothing else. But I'm saying now. You're saying he should quit music altogether? I think he, he should start ghost music. That's the thing he's no. doing. Okay, look, right no. now, right now, P, if, he, if he was to drop an album tomorrow, how much do you think it would sell first week? Who, Drake? Yeah. Tomorrow? It, well, depend, it depends do, on if it depends on if he, it depends, it depends on how if if it's directed at the situation, everybody gonna listen for that first week. What will it do the next week is what we should get. 
Will it Whoa. sustain? No, I'm definitely, just saying. We're going to click to hear if he say something slick. You, of course. But do you but, do you think, like, he still has the capability of breaking records now like he's like he's done before with the current climate of what he's going through right now? No. Okay. I get why you can say, yeah. No. Because, because, I get why you think, yeah. Because it does require a level of cool, especially today. I mean, it's just, you just, you just, you just showed that you're not. Again, my issue that word word cool. And I'm not only saying this because Drake has filed a lawsuit. Their question is is not answered by cool. I think their question, I think, is primarily answered by these labels. If Drake fixes his issue with Universal, we're gonna get an amazing project. No, 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 not amazing project. We're, we're going to get Drake doing amazing numbers. If Drake is still beefing with Universal, them numbers is going to look mid. But I think that's for every artist. I think what they're showing is Drake ain't bigger than the program. And the only person bigger than the program is one named Taylor Swift. That's it. Yeah, he. But this it's, whole, it's this all whole, this other shit he doing that's fucking him up. That's what I'm saying. It ain't the music. It's the off the court antics. It's like, and, and then everybody looking at all the shit he been doing this whole time and realizing that shit was never cool. But the one place that he's always been outstanding at is making records. Like right. that's he needs to just make an album. I would. I would definitely get me a new artist. Don't tell anybody. Write all the music because he about to drop an album party next money, door and, my, and make that. And make that and make that the move. Exactly. Don't tell anybody you're my artist. Don't tell anybody. Just like do it how Usher was doing, like with the Justin Bieber thing. Niggas found out after it blew up. I mean, this- <laughs> uh, Eric Phillips, thank you for the uh, super chat. He said, "Ack, where did you get the hat from?" This is actually this is this is one of our merch. This is one of our um, merch. You go to uh, the Academy shop, and um, I think this should be on it, or it might be on our. Um, I think we're having like a Black Friday sale or something like that. Um, Andrew Gomez, thank you for the two. It says, Russell Westbrook wears skirts, but he's cool, right? <laughs> Keith Grimes says, uh, it's a trade-off. The hood guy always wants to be associated with the cool guys and vice versa. It's like high school in a way with the athletes and the hood guys. Um, Walter, uh, he says, I don't think Kendrick uh, has ever had haters. And Eric also says, act, you're doing circles around the fact. It's soft. Make me feel like if Drake ratted, you'd be justifying too. Nigga, I love rats. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> I love rats. What the hell? <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need to justify it. Be like, yo, he's my favorite rat. <laughs> what the hell? Yo, you got to realize, when it come to me, this won't be the first rat I'm jacking. Like, yo, I don't know about y'all. It won't be the first rat I'm jacking. Like, yo, <laughs> jacked a couple rats. Pause. <laughs> Um, Damar Bennett, he says, how when Drake got sued for tailor-made freestyle, no one said anything. Um, but when he sued UMG, he saw, by the way, neither of those were lawsuits. They were, um, preemptive actions. One was a cease and desist for, for tailor-made and, and he's filed a petition, um, with UMG. I mean, that's a good point. Story to tell says in this culture, you have to adapt. You can't truly become yourself until you get popular. Hmm. Uh, Queen Jones, she said, uh, Ack, 100,000 were watching you stream daily during the beef. The video of you seeing he dropped your top video. We all watched, like, uh, not like us, a thousand times um, over the world. There are no bots. Um, so uh, let me give you my, like, like my opinion on, like, this, bot, this bots thing, right? So... Here's here's how I think about it, right? So Not Like Us has 914 million streams on Spotify. I think, honestly, 100 million of those are, are bots. Even then, it's negligible. You, like, the whole botted thing, I think you guys have to understand what it is. Bots aren't supposed to be for the entire life of the project. Bots are supposed to fool people that this is popping now, that you go listen to it. 
right? So do I think, so I would say 90%, in my opinion, 90% of those streams are probably real. But there is still 10% fake. And, and, and I'm not saying only for that song. I think damn near almost every song. <laughs> now, it's about when those botted streams come into play. Right? When do they those botted streams come into play? Sometimes they get trickled in over the time of a month and a half because that's during the rollout period. Sometimes it might be the first two, three weeks. Who knows? Again, I would be an idiot to say there are no botted streams in Not Like Us. But I'd also be an idiot to say that song isn't insanely popular. And for the songs that we do know with a billion streams, this do feel like a billion stream song in terms of like popularity. Now, here's the thing, too. Remember I said this about Drake? I did say this about Drake. Drake is so popular. Like, for example, he shows up to July 4th um, White Party. Michael Rubin says himself, we made sure that song never got played. Drake might not actually know the popularity of the song because no one's going to play it around him. Like, he's not going to, he's not just chilling outside where cars are passing. Every environment Drake is in, he creates or it's created around him. So he might be like, bro, I don't hear this song nowhere. How the fuck y'all keep saying this? Like, he might see some videos on YouTube. But every time he goes outside and, and or he goes to a concert, everybody's listening to his shit. So, th so he's thinking, Yo, wh how y'all saying this shit's effect? Like, how? Like, he doesn't see it. Imagine really creating your atmosphere where, like, you're never seeing what everybody is seeing normally. Like, truth be told, what I see on Twitter, I kind of see generally in the real world. Now, I see people liking the song. I don't see people trolling about the song. On Twitter, that's the only thing. On Twitter, they troll. Like, Twitter niggas, it's just all trolling. Right? But do I see people? Yeah. When would Drake ever hear that song other than him looking on Twitter? If he goes to a club, they're not playing it. Like, no one would, in their right mind will play it, know where he's at. Andrew Goldman, 10 for the two. He says, uh, Not Like Us has 178 million views on YouTube, um, as well as the music video has 178 million views, which means the song and the video has 178. So, is that weird? Or am I tripping? He says that alone just makes it feel like uh, it's bought it. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. The reason why I don't think it's bought it like, to that extent, again, 10%, whatever. You know what? I don't think it's bought it to some ridiculously crazy extent, bro. My nigga, if you ask me to name... 10 songs, or let's say five songs that dropped this year, I'm definitely naming Not Like Us. I'm definitely naming it, bro. Like, come on. Uh, not Like Us. All right. Yeah, so the video, let me zoom in a little bit. The video has 178, and the audio has 178. Oh, they both have 178. Oh, shit. Video was dropped two months after. Okay. Makes a little sense. So. Uh, who else? Story to tell says, I can this culture. You got to adapt. You can't truly become yourself. Okay, we read that already. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? YL Royal says, J. Cole said it was the bots and the beef in Port Antonio. Yeah, but part of J. Cole saying that, I think he's just talking about generally. This is bots in the game. I really don't think the successful artists, like, even with me saying this about um, Kendrick Botten, like, I do think he used bots. 
But I don't think Kendrick himself is your like, yo, bro, get me the bots. Like, no. Bro, PG Lang, I'm, yo, P Kendrick has some of the smartest people working in digital with him. I ain't gonna lie to you. Half of the smart people that I used to work with because I work with other companies, they now, they've left those jobs and just work with PG Lang. I don't want to mention their names because I, I love those guys and I want them to keep getting the money that they're getting. So they have really smart people over there. So I'm pretty sure Kendrick's not sitting around saying, let's get the fucking bots. But I'm pretty sure they're saying, yo, we're going up against Drake. Everything we do gets put against Drake. Yo, let's get some more, let's get some more fucking streams. Okay, Kendrick was going to do 30? Fuck that. Juice it to 45. Fuck it. Who knows? Okay, I, th I thought we played this already. Oh no, I'm playing the wrong thing. Sorry. This shit is just he's he in, he in a fight something. right now that's lasting too long, bro. Okay, 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 okay. And then they go to academic stream and do the streamer. Don't make no sense. I don't, I don't fuck know. with that. I thought, but I, I, but that's his biggest supporter. Yeah, but that, he's not really supported. Like he, they using each other. They don't really. No, no, no. Really has he ever called in? Has he ever called in the academics before? No. no. He never gave never? him that stamp. Mm. No. He texts him. At least that's what he said. He's been going this hard for Drake and he's never called no. in. He's never called in. That's false. Ever. No. no. He don't no. fuck with dude. No fucking way. He never called in a stream. I thought mm. he called in by now. No. Nigga, as hard as he go for him? No. Damn. But that's because it don't also be in. It, it's actually false. Like, one of the first times I, like, fucking. Passed out on stream. Me and Drake took shots. Like, come on. It don't be in also like uh, it don't be in like true fashion. It really just being like I like Flock doing that. Like Flocko done. It's like it's not real. You don't genuinely believe this. You just keeping shit up for no reason. Like on some goofer shit. Like just uh, goofy. You know what I mean? think I think an academics situation. He actually talks to him, right? He talks to him. At least okay, that's but, what he said. But Flocko doesn't. Flocko's just spinning like narratives to keep shit going. Yeah, but I think even Academics Ax, is really talking to but, nigga, but how? But how do and you? Drake can like send him records and shit to play. Yeah, he but really but, talk but to how him. do you? And, and I don't think he's sending records. I think somebody over your team. Uh, yeah, because he don't fuck with him. It's obvious he don't fuck with Act. Uh -huh. That's what pissed me off. It'd be the people going hard against the people that would fuck with them for people that would never. Man, he wouldn't piss on Act if Act was on fire. Damn. He just wouldn't, bro. That's why he hasn't. You Let's don't call think... so we can see if he would piss on him, you think? No. <laughs> no. Think about it. Act... <laughs> Feel me, look. Who's that guy in the back? That's funny as hell. <laughs> you don't think Act Stream would benefit hugely from Drake showing up? Right, right. For sure. 100%. So, so like, and by the way, I keep hearing this. So, two things. Ever since the battle, number one, I, I, I always tell people, and I don't know why they, they, they've they created their own narrative with this. The two biggest jumps ever in my career, the two biggest jumps, right? The third, I would I would say, is 6'9". And actually, I think the war in Chirac comes in at fifth. So this is the top five jumps in my career. I would say this. Me being the central hip-hop media slash media personality in the Drake and Kendrick battle. Even our streaming numbers. Like, these days we average 17 grand um, concurrently for six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours. Before, we were, like, 10, it almost doubled, like, to certain to certain extent, right? Cool. So, that, to me, that was a huge jump, right? The second jump in my career was me covering, and this, so obviously there's acknowledgement with Drake in the first. The second one was me covering Drake and Meek, okay? A lot of people, I don't know why they think, like, this war and shot reaction is the thing that got me whatever. No. I remember my platform, every video I was doing, these four-minute videos, 300,000. Right after that, because I was doing like 120, 
150 by myself. After that, 300K every video. Like, my, my average was just like 100K extra. Okay. So that's the first two. Then the third one is 6ix9ine era, right? 6ix9ine is just marketing genius. Fourth thing is going to be me um, cornering the market on SoundCloud rapper era. That, like, all those, that audience really helped build me. And then fifth, if we're going there, um, I guess it, I guess it would be Warren Chirac. I forgot what the film was going to be otherwise. But anyway, it, here's the point. Like, I don't know why people don't 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 see that the benefit. Like, I'm already reaping the benefits. Now it's like people want him like sitting next to me, or people want more, which I guess I understand too. I mean, shit, I'm not gonna complain. Like. Stop. Now, hard against the people that would fuck with them for people that would never, man, he wouldn't piss on Akifak was on fire. Damn. He just wouldn't, bro. That's yeah. why he hasn't. You Let's don't call Axel Week and see if he would piss on him, you think? No. <laughs> no. Think about it. Ak, <laughs> feel me, look. Ak, that nigga is hilarious. Who, who, he was his voice out for it. Who is that? I don't think Ak Stream would benefit hugely from Drake showing up. Right, right. For sure. 100%. Thousand. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be crazy if he I think it. it'd benefit Drake too. Thousand percent. Especially right now. So now, um, I'll, I'll give a little bit of credence to what, what's being said here, though. I do believe as people are pushing this narrative that you are, even as Glasses says, you're not cool or you're anti-culture, they want you to do something that makes you feel feel or look cultural and maybe the XQC or Aiden Ross look isn't that but I'm gonna be honest with you and, and this is another thing too like do y'all think there's anybody who like who's younger who consumes hip-hop who would watch a stream or watch or whatever that knows about Drake that never heard about me just being honest even if Drake did that they still wouldn't be happy I'm gonna be honest with you like I think the better comparison is that Maybe if he did a Kai stream, it would have been maybe more culturally accepted than him just sitting with, with because I, I think that's what they're trying to say to which that's a point. That is a point I'll give to them. I think everything that Drake does now that comes off in this cultural rubric as non-cultural, he gets more flack for it. And, and, and they're waiting for him to do something that seems like Oh, he gets it. He one of us. He like, oh, he a nigga. Like, he gets it. You get what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie. That has been missing a little bit. And, or maybe he just hasn't taken proper care for that. And I think, you know, again, that has nothing to do with doing a stream with me. Because honestly, I really think, I think niggas, people, the people who like me, like me. And the people who hate me, hate me. That even if he did a stream with me. Bro, you know this niggas on Twitter who, who claim that Drake lost because of me. Like, bro, this, you can't appease motherfuckers like that, bro. So, I agree in, in generality that peop, some people are wanting to see a cultural move by him. I actually disagree thinking that just because I'm black, they would be like, oh, okay. No, I think when the people bring it up and bring me up, because play like this, Glasses is still one of the same motherfuckers who's saying, oh, I don't get it when half of the things that we disagree with. So Drake sitting with me is not going to make you feel like, oh, Drake gets it now. You're going to still say the same thing, right? Mostly you're bringing this up to put it in the air to be like, I don't know why Axe supports him. And the reason why that's important, because Drake is, I'm being honest with you, Drake is down to a very few people who support him. Media-wise, that nigga is down to zero. Like, and, and, and you know, you could call it whatever. Obviously, he's my favorite rapper, but but still, y'all should know, like, this isn't necessarily just only a Drake thing. Bro, at the moment when Takashi 6 9 his own label wouldn't work with him, I'm the only person who, like, that's not, that's never been my MO. Like, my MO has never been, oh, okay. I, I just always call that fake. 
oh, okay, everybody's not fucking with Drake now. Let me just get, get up on out of here. Also, here's the thing, too. If 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 you wanted to treat any type of relationship or or even a situation as whatever that you have leverage, you think I couldn't go to Drake and be like, yo, Drake, I need this look right now or else I'm going to be joining the group of niggas kicking your back in? But that's just not me. Like, I don't ask for nothing. Like, to keep it real, <laughs> call me a cheap date then. Like, bro, I'm just not here begging these rappers. Like, I built my platform on being able to say fuck you to a rapper when I need to. I don't need them to give me, like, these handouts. Cool. I talk to you. I get whatever I get from you. Like, if we sit down, that's cool. But I'm not here just, like, just trying to, okay, just whenever. No, I'm cool with that. But maybe I'm just a cheap date. Who knows? <laughs> Well, then why hasn't he done it if this is the hardest part? He went and did Charlemagne shit. He went Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club don't support him. Yeah, but he's not done the breakfast. But, but see, that's intellectually dishonest. He's, he, he doesn't rock with the Breakfast Club. Bro, he doesn't rock with none of these guys. He doesn't rock with the Breakfast Club. He don't like Elliot Wilson. He don't fuck with Joe. Him and Joe had like this interesting like Hot and cold relationship. I remember one of the last times I was trying to make sure, because I, you know, Joe, my guy, <laughs> I was trying to explain certain shit to him, and then he he doubled down. And he said, "Bro, yo, the dude is, is saying weird shit about me. Like that that's not just rap critic. Like he's trying to throw some weird shit in the ear about me. And I'm not cool with that. All right, okay, I get that. But he don't fuck with nobody else in media. <laughs> and." Here's my only thing that's a little bit dishonest about that. Because the majority of the media, our job as the media is to have these, not only relationship, but these sources. Everybody who has a substantial platform, not one of them have a line to the biggest rapper. That, Like, to me, that's, that's, why, I, that's why I say to y'all, that association pays me its weight in gold. It's worth its weight in gold. He don't like Charlemagne. He don't like, he don't like none of these niggas. Everybody, you can't name one guy. He, who? Who, Mealy Maw? All right, well, let's give Mealy Maw. And again, maybe I, I also look at just like, for example, for example, I don't know if I could tell this story without saying it. I don't know, I don't know if I could say it. I don't want to throw this artist on the bus neither. Yeah. Yeah, I can't say that on the story. I was going to tell you about, it's another It's another artist who I've championed a lot. We're supposed to do an interview. I Like, this is one of the top three niggas. I champion a lot. We're supposed to do an interview. Do promise for an interview. I'm not pushing you with interviews like that. I just really don't give a fuck. Like, I, I just, the majority of what I get done it's not by just sitting next to a nigga, whatever. I, I run my mouth. I talk my shit, whatever, whatever. Um, some shit happened really behind the scenes. It actually turned into some other, some 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 legal stuff. I don't want to get too much into it. And um, the person saw me posting them less and showing them less love. And they hit me up and they said, yo, bro, I, could, I feel like maybe you're feeling a way um, that we haven't done the interview yet because you haven't supported me. Yo, let's just do it. We could do it this week. And, nigga, of course I could just, like, it's an interview y'all all want. Like, I could just be like, oh, let's go right now. And I literally explained to myself, bro, that has nothing to do with it. Bro, I'm, I'm never, like, moving like a girl over an interview. I said, this is what happened based on some posts, and it turned to some legal stuff, and because of that, we kind of chilled off, blah, 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 blah. And he said, oh, shit. Oh, I didn't know. I said, oh, yeah, well, I've been talking to your label, this and third, everything is being rectified. Cool. Um, but the dude really thought that like I was like feeling a way about not not doing an interview with him, even though he's promised me that we're gonna do it. I don't look at me supporting that artist as you need to do an interview with me. And if it comes or it doesn't come, pause, or it takes a year or it takes two years, I don't care. Do you get what I'm saying? And I don't know if that's how the media works, but I do want to ask the majority of the media this question. How, like, y'all have y'all sources too, a lot of y'all. But why does the biggest artist in the game not fuck with none of y'all? 
That's a really good question to ask. It's a really good question that half of the, yo, listen, I'm the guy who's never been invited to none of these rooms y'all claim y'all be doing. But for the current contemporary dudes, half of them don't want to. I remember, I remember X when he was alive. God rest the dead. Hated complex more than he hated Satan. He was about to break. He was on probation for some. Uh, you guys know. He couldn't get approval. He was going to fly in. This is how said he was about complex. Just like what he said. Act. I'm coming every day. Struggle. I want to clear this up because I hated, I, like he hated how shit was. Here's my thing. I've I've told y'all before. Y'all got to come up with your own explanations. For somebody who sits here and cusses out artists all day, why do some of these artists fuck with me and they don't fuck with you? And I don't do anything or say anything about an artist for an interview. I don't give a fuck. I have four pieces of content with Young Boy. Not one came out, and I'm cool with it. I could have snaked him 50 times and just dropped everything. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, no. Yeah, I'm wishing the best for him. You know what I mean? And and for, for me, that's important, but that's just my my way of how I keep stuff going. You get what I'm saying? Um, I I remember saying publicly when it came to the Drake situation, I said, Elliot had four interviews with him. Elliot's an older, older, uh, elderly, um, uh, is an older statesman when it comes to media. I could see if Drake is gonna do a big interview if they were cool. He'd be like, "Yo, kind of have a thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Elliot. Act. Maybe I get around to you." I never asked ever. No, you can't, Drake can't say ever ask him for an interview ever. The only thing I've ever asked Drake, I said, "Yo." Um, other for tickets. <laughs> um, I said, I know your album's about to come come out. Give me just give me the heads up before that I know. You like just let me know because you know I do the streaming stuff, blah blah blah. That helps me. Anything else is voluntary. Anything else is you know, uh, whatever. Now, granted, and I'm and I'm and I think I'm pretty transparent. In, I think Drake has realized that a lot of these associations with him have either fell out or feel a certain type of way because they all felt like he promised them interviews and they don't like him because of that. Or they have said things that are probably to him dishonest or whatever because they, um, they feel like he's done whatever to them. Do I think that Drake, in probably in hindsight at this point, be like, oh shit, this nigga act supports me not only really as a fan, the dude's a big platform. Yeah. Do I think I need to get paid? Unlike these other niggas, I the only payment I get is from every rapper's label. <laughs> I love saying that. And from the hard work I put in. Okay, that, 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 that's good enough for me. Also, I always told people this thing because they never believed me. Like, they used to say the same thing. And, and I always say, why am I number one? But y'all keep questioning me on my strategies. Let me ask, let me give you another, another one. Everybody always say, man, how much does 6 9 pay? I always told him, 6 9 never gave me a dollar to this day. We've never exchanged, a, exchanged money with each other, ever. They always said, yo, they owe you millions. And I always looked at those people and said, well, we just have different point of view in how we work shit. My one-two combination with 6 9 and making him the most or one of the most relevant people in the years where he was effective makes every label, every label came to me with a blank check and said, academics, we want you to go on vacation with this guy. We want you to do this. We want, what, write your price. I didn't need a dollar from 6 9 I got it from everybody else. <laughs> 6 9 is my guy. Thank you, 6 9 That's your alley-oop to me. And by the way, I probably threw my alley-oop too because his label re-up and gave him $13 million. That's what I don't know about business. So when I be hearing some of this stuff, I'm like, I've never said I want to be friends with Drake. I've always said I know Drake. I like Drake, the artist. I don't know if I like him as the person. And even though I communicate with him, I don't know if I'm, I'm talking to Drake, the artist. I'm not talking to, yo, Drake. Like, we're, no, we're not in Turks. <laughs> Having freak up? What the fuck? No. <laughs> I think I'm pretty, like, honest and fair with that.
Word to the wise. You gain a lot more. Put it like this. Part of being, it's ironic that they finally just give me the number one media personality when I'm the only one that now can talk to the number one rapper. It happens. It's cool. I get the game. I've been studying it for 10 years. And as long as the next rapper that come along, I'm either his best friend or we beefing, I don't give a fuck. As long as we, we don't ignore each other. Like, that's what I like to be. Either, either I hate you, you hate me, or we cool. I don't give a fuck. All right? I let it play though. They just be making jokes and shit and all that. He fuck with the homies, but he don't fuck with Act who who pushing a narrative for him. This is the same thing we talking about. Y'all shouldn't be going hard for niggas that don't have no implications for but you. But that's just not Drake. That's men in general. I see that just happen Facts. too fucking much. Yeah. Facts. Motherfuckers be having the pom poms with niggas. They ain't never even Facts. fucking share the sound. I don't know. I don't know. Now, I will also again I'm, I'm trying to be very transparent here. Even though I, I think the people are saying this, no matter I can't say anything to them for, for them to feel happy. Right? Put it like this. The moment's gonna come that, you know, um, that me and Drake do something, pause, some content or whatever. And you know what they're going to say? Yo, bro, you know, he waited until he really needed you or like he really fell off now. He, that's why he, like, there's, you can never please people, right? I don't know how could a nigga like you. And now, oh, but, but I was going to give them some credit for, for saying this. I, I do believe, and, and, and they're right to a certain extent with like kind of analyzing Drake. Um, wait, wait, what did they say? They made a decent How could a nigga, fu like you and. Yeah, I do blame Drake for fake, like, French. I think part of the reason people keep thinking that Drake owes me something is because of how many fake friends Drake has had. And they feel like, yo, if he's done or he's hung out in a very fake way with a lot of fake niggas. How are you genuinely fucking with him or supporting him, but we're not seeing that? And I think that's their optics. And and I'll agree with the, I think Drake has definitely had a lot of fake fake um, friendships. Or it looked friend, uh, like they were friends, but it was fake. But I don't immediately relate it back to me. Like, oh, okay. Well, well if you did all that for... Rick Ross or whoever, and them niggas just start clowning you or whatever. Damn, nigga. I'm over here. No, nah, I don't look at it like that. But, but that could be me, though. In the same, Y'all in the same business. Y'all could benefit each other. But you, but why he's not, supposed to why fuck, not with, fuck you. with each other? Now, it's different if you don't know somebody, right? Who right, ain't came right. to the community, you may don't know them. Right. So then you can say that, but y'all all the West, right? That's the thing. But I'm like, I fuck with you, but I don't show up here. Right. How is that real? Right. True. This, this mm. is the point of it is you support the people you fuck with. Warren G told me, Long time ago, probably about four years ago, he said, man, glasses, if people want to help you, if people want to see you win, they'll help you win. Mm. So I don't know how the fuck could Damn. he be going this hard for a nigga that won't show up on the stream, that won't really benefit him just to be on the opposite end of a bunch of niggas from California that really be on some bullshit. Right. That's shit. for sure. Like, you really playing with something that people may not forgive. Man. Right. Playing a dangerous game, huh? Man, uh huh. This is getting kind of this is getting kind of crazy to be honest with you, bro. Buddy. This whole shit though, I'm like, damn. Yeah, man. I think I I, it's, I, I said today I hit King. Shit, I said uh, G right. I told everybody who was right. They was right. I told King, you right, bro. You was right. But what? King said it was gonna be Ja Rule. I said no, it ain't. You said six months. I said no, it ain't. You said I six said months. if you don't apologize, he'll be Ja Rule. But hmm. I think Drake. Is Ja Rule. I do believe that the um the things that have um kind of came down at the same time for Drake. This is really bad timing. This is really bad timing. And if I if 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 I was him. If I was going through this label break, I would have went through it. No, no. If I was going through this label negotiation, I would have went through it with silence. Because sometimes if you're quiet enough, people would be like, damn, I wonder what he's planning. I feel like a lot of people are looking at Drake to be like, oh, no, we, now nah, we see him shooting. We just don't know if, if he's shooting blanks. 
And that's where they're coming with this Ja Rule aspect. But here's the thing. Dropping right now is futile anyway. His label's not fucking with him. Drake's own label ain't fucking with him. So anything he drops is going to be completely diminished. It's, it's not going to be regular high power Drake. But this is why. So he should have chilled out. Yo, listen, you're not going to defeat these labels, right? And even if you have this private dispute with them, whenever you figure it out, you come back. And maybe that's what he intended, and this was only a preemptive move to kind of, you know, not really scare them, but kind of like, yo. You know, because I think he's been trying to really tease, like, yo, you know I'll leave. You know I'll leave. But now it's it's he would have to he would have to fix he would have to fix the situation with the label first. Two months and this, nobody was gonna care. Listen, this is why. This is why he's doing cornball shit. He keeps doing cornball shit, and then Doc keep doing cool shit. Yeah. So it just make the cornball shit look even more cornballish. Yeah, he's just out cooling. Even this even this point. even crazier. Doc is in the videos nonchalant. Just chilling. He chilling. Because this is really him at peace. Right. Mm -hmm. This is not him this projecting who he wants to be, who he wants y'all to see him as. This is him just being a nigga that it took him to become a big homie for him to realize embracing this culture is everything. And, and now you can move it how you want. And you can do whatever you want. Fire. And the fact that we were talking about this earlier, after 12 years, it hits you. Like, niggas don't get a chance to stand around 12 years, then do this. Right. Niggas usually right. got to do this to get cracking. Right, right. Like, because, but that's because we all had to go through the streets. Oh, for sure. He went through the blogs. Yeah. Right. He didn't have yeah, to come yeah, yeah. through. We didn't have to approve of his music to represent us. Like how, like how we, our journey is a little different. He came just a yeah. little after, yeah. and college kids kind of start dictating the journey at that point. Right, 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 right. Bloggers. Right, right. right, right. It's crazy. It's crazy how comfortable he is. Yeah. He looks now. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, man. Well, interestingly enough, Kendrick <laughs> Let me hear this. <laughs> that the average MC ain't thinking about writing. And Oh man, I, I could tell. Niggas is going going to act like uh this is the best thing since Cook Crack, huh? All right. Um anyway, so on the project, Kendrick Lamar seemingly threw a jab at Lil Wayne, okay? And if you guys were tapped in, you know, some people were arguing, is it a jab or is it not a jab or this and third? But it was very clear and apparent when he said, uh, can we play it? Okay. He said, I used to bump Carter 3, I held. So, you know, the boy Drizzy Drake. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So, Drake went on a little unfollowing spree as of recently. And, you know, he unfollowed LeBron. He unfollowed Playboy Cardi. He unfollowed Kendrick Lamar. You feel me? Honestly, I don't know why Drake never unfollowed them from the get-go. He unfollowed DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan is one very fake guy. I'm not going to lie. Like, you have to think of it from the point of view. If your position was switched with Drake, you mess with all these guys so heavy. And you feel me? One guy calls you a pedo. Like, those are some serious allegations, man. Like, that you like little kids, especially in, like, the position Drake's in. And they're rocking with this guy heavy and like supporting him. What? Like, bro, come on. Like, like what X said at one point with friends like these, you never need enemies. Like, <laughs> DeMar DeRozan in the video, LeBron at the concert, bopping his head. You feel me? Playboy Cardi not clearing songs for Drake, which is so insane. Playboy Cardi doesn't clear a song for Drake. Like, the reason why it's so insane, the type of music that Playboy Cardi makes and all that stuff. 
with those little like noises and stuff five to ten years from now the playboy cardies the ken carson's all that stuff gone washed up probably drug addicts you feel me you might catch them on the side of the road looking like drug addicts they don't know what to do with themselves cardi has no personality you never hear from cardi so he probably could do merch and stuff five to ten years cardi is probably going to be like you feel me the way i see it is if i don't think lil wayne fell all the way off but if someone like lil wayne could like be at a lower level at rapping anyone could fall off that's the way i see it <clears throat> And no one this day and age really re ever reached Wayne's level, for real. So, yes, they could all fall off. Like, Wayne could go on tour and have a bigger tour than damn near every single rapper now. But someone like Drake, the type of music Drake makes and all that stuff, Drake's cool. He, Drake doesn't even need rap, so. Feel me? But, hey, man. I hope Drake unfollows more people. There's definitely more people who deserve to unfollow. Um, it's your boy, Big X News. Though. Make sure you like, come subscribe, and I am out.